Louis Lazare Hoche was a French soldier who rose to be general of the Revolutionary Army. He is best known for his defeat of royalist forces in Brittany. His surname is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe. On column 3, Early Life Born of poor parents near Versailles, he enlisted at 16 as a private soldier in the Guards Francaises. He spent his entire leisure in earning extra pay by civil work, his object being to provide himself with books, and this love of study, which was combined with a strong sense of duty and personal courage, soon led to his promotion. Revolutionary Army Career When the Guards Francaises disbanded in 1789 he had reached the rank of corporal, and thereafter he served in various line regiments up to the time of his receiving a commission in 1792. In the defense of Thionville in that year Hoche earned further promotion, and he served with credit in the operations of 1792 to 1793 on the northern frontier of France including that he served as aide-de-camp to General Livener, and when Charles de Maurier's deserted to the Austrians, Hoche, along with Livener and others, fell under suspicion of treason. But after being kept under arrest and unemployed for some months he took part in the defense of Dunkirk, and in the same year he was promoted successively chef de brigade, general of brigade, and general of division. In October 1793 he was provisionally appointed to command the Army of the Moselle, and within a few weeks he was in the field at the head of his army in Lorraine. He lost his first battle at Kaiserslautern on 28-30 November 1793 against the Prussians. But even in the midst of the reign of terror the Committee of Public Safety retained Hoche in his command. Pertinacity and fiery energy, in their eyes, outweighed everything else, and Hoche soon showed that he possessed these qualities. On the 22nd of December 1793 he won the Battle of Frochevilla, and the representatives of the National Convention with his army at once added the Army of the Rhine to his sphere of command. In the Second Battle of Wissemberg on 26 December 1793, the French drove to Gobert Sigmund von Worms's Austrian army from Alsace. Hoche pursued his success, sweeping the enemy before him to the Middle Rhine in four days. He then put his troops into winter quarters. Arrest Before the following campaign opened, he married Anne Adelaide de Coe at Thionville. But ten days later he was suddenly arrested, charges of treason having been proffered by Charles Picagru, the displaced commander of the Army of the Rhine, and by his friends. Hoche escaped execution, however, though imprisoned in Paris until the fall of Maximilien Robespierre, war in the Vendée. Shortly after his release he was appointed to command against the Vendéans. He completed the work of his predecessors in a few months by the Peace of Jornet, but soon afterwards a war was renewed by the royalists. Hoche showed himself equal to the crisis and inflicted a crushing blow on the royalist cause by defeating and capturing de Somber Ill's expedition at Quiberon and Pentheva. Thereafter, by means of mobile columns he succeeded before the summer of 1796 in pacifying the whole of the West which had for more than three years been the scene of a pitless civil war, Ireland and Austria. After this Hoche was appointed to organize and command the Ireland expedition, of troops sent to assist the United Irishmen in their rebellion against British rule. A tempest, however, separated Hoche from the expedition, and after various adventures the whole fleet returned to Brest without having affected its purpose. Hoche was at once transferred to the Rhine frontier, where he defeated the Austrians at the Battle of Neuwed in April 1797, though operations were soon afterwards brought to an end by the preliminaries of Leobin. Later career and death Later in 1797 he was Minister of War for a short period, but in this position he was surrounded by obscure political intrigues, and, finding himself the dupe of Paul Barras and technically guilty of violating the Constitution, he quickly laid down his office, returning to his command on the Rhine frontier. But his health grew rapidly worse, and he died at Wetzlar on 19 September 1797 of consumption. 
The belief spread that he had been poisoned, but the suspicion seems to have had no foundation. He first was buried next to his friend François Marceau in a fort at Coblenz on the Rhine. In 1919, the French Rhine army buried his mortal remains into the even in 1797-built monument General Hoche in Bicentherm near Neuwed, where he had started his last campaign against the Austrians. Memorials he is commemorated by a statue in Place Hoche, a garden square not far from the main entrance to the Palace of Versailles. Another statue, the last major work by Jules de Lou, is in Quiberin, Brittany. In Les Invalides where Napoleon's tomb is enshrined, there is also a memorial to Hoche.